Howdy y'all, my name is Price, and welcome back to some more of the House of Da Vinci. Let's continue where we left off. It has been at least a month and a half since I played this game. <laughs> I recorded all that at the same, on the same day, and then I was like, well, I need to get these episodes out, and it took me forever to get the episodes out. So I'm, I'm going to be a little slow to start with. We're in this armory area, I guess. Um, here's uh, Da Vinci's tank. Let's zoom up on here, see what we got. Okay, we got like a little thing, but it doesn't look like we can pull this yet, at least not as far as I can tell. Any time stuff? No. Any uh, mechanical stuff? Aha. Um, oh, I see. Okay, so we can pull that all the way down like this, right? And then I can do something like this. Can I then like lift this latch? Or, oh, hold on. It's like, do you see how this is at this angle, right? So I want to do something like put this up to that degree. Huh. And then do this and rotate like that. And then we'll just we'll do the same. We're moving the, okay. I get it. Uh, we'll move you down. No, I guess we're going to leave this guy up top. I need to, like, make space on each side. I see. Okay. My goodness. Oh, and there's also a little slot here on the edge. That's good to know. So that's probably, like, a temporary... It's like, you know, for example, if I needed to move something back, I could do, um, like... Oh, I can't move this at all anymore? I was going to say, if I needed to, I could, like, slot something in there temporarily. Either way. Let's take this one. Move that to the middle. Let's take, say, this one. Move that into there. Let's rotate you out that way. Okay. Um, let's get you up to the middle like this. Pull. Oh, these got different shapes. We got different shapes on the side. Uh oh. Can't get that out, huh? Okay. All right. Let's uh. Let's adjust. Oh boy. That's interesting. So, can I fit that there like that? No, I can't. Can I rotate this at all? No, I can't. Huh. But I can't do anything about this anymore. Like, these are stuck, so they must be in the position they're supposed to be in. That can't go anywhere. Um, I can temporarily put these guys out to the side, though. So let's, let's try that for right now. Can't rotate this at all? Really? There we go. Okay. Oh boy, what a start. By the way, I am sick at the moment. Um, I know I've been very sick for the past couple months, and uh, it is still the case. Aha, so that's what this one's going to be used for, I think, is at the end, something like that. What do we do with these guys? Um, but yeah, my illness still exists, which is um, no fun. Oh, got it. Boom. Okay, cool. So those ones were fine as long as they were just slightly pulled away. Uh, okay. I can't click on this at all. It won't let me zoom in, mess with anything. So we're going to assume that we have to put something right here. Um, yeah, there's no more other stuff. So there's clearly, like, there's some slot here. I can't double click on that, though, or anything. But it looks like this is some kind of wheel. Yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm sick still. I've got my, yeah, I've got antibiotics and all that kind of stuff to help me out, but... I apologize if my voice is less than um, stellar. I've I literally, it's like the third time my doctor can't quite figure out what's going on. Um, but like, it's not enough to like totally kill me. It just, it's just like <laughs> really uncomfortable right now. Um, so, uh, but I figured, you know what? I'm sick, but like, what do y'all do when y'all are sick, huh? Stay home from school, you play video games. So this is just, this is me. I'm staying home playing video games. It should happens to be that that's what I always do. You've been warned, but did not heed. Now your pleas and explanations will come too late. You will soon discover who is the better one, or the better man. I will not make the same mistake again. I know your secrets. Sala? Is it Claw? Salari? I, I don't know exactly what that says. I assume that there's nothing hidden in these notes, yeah. Okay, but a note nonetheless. Alright, can't take any of these pieces. 
Is there anything about these that are significant? No? Okay, let's look at this puzzle box. I love puzzle boxes, by the way. Um, any of y'all, if you've ever seen uh, Hellraiser, Hellraiser is one of my favorite horror movies. Oh, okay. I don't know why we're pulling these pieces out. I'm not sure. Uh, you, maybe? No? Aha, there we go. Okay. Is it just like an order thing? Oh, okay. Looks like it's just an order thing. Oh, I see, because they are kind of holding on to each other. Kind of gripping. Okay. Aha, there we go. Is there anything else that I can... Oh, we got a key. Look at that. It released when we grabbed that last one. Cool, so we did find a key. Let's look at the shape of this key real quick. Small metal key. It's got... Okay, little... Should be a simple key-looking slot, though. I don't think I can mess with this at all. I don't see any... Yeah, don't see anything crazy there. Okay, so we got a key. Um, yeah, let's just take our time looking around here. Obviously, there's this cannon up here. Gosh, Da Vinci stuff is so crazy. What do we got down here? So clearly, we're going to attach something to that. You should always be checking if there's any time stuff anywhere. That's one of the things that I'm... I always miss. Uh, okay. Let's see. I think these I could probably just grab, right? No? Okay. All right, so that just brings us over to here. So, we know something's going to go into that slot. Ah, with the cannon, we're going to have to shoot those three sandbags for sure. I I'm purposely avoiding this thing just because it so clearly is where I should go, but I want to make sure I check all the different areas. Any specifics. There's some kind of rope or something up there. There's some kind of rotating thing up there. And then obviously if we um, click back this way, there's also all this stuff over that way. So let's go check this um, this thing over here. <laughs> do, do, do. Some kind of little puzzle. Looks to me like it's going to be like a little traveling puzzle. Got to do it like that. Oh, every time you pass through, it changes the direction of the thing it passes through. We've done one like this before, haven't we? Um, maybe it wasn't in this game. Maybe it was in the room. Okay, so we pass through there, that'll switch that way, and then we'll have to go back through there, and that'll go that way, and that'll go to the right. That'll be pointed up, though, so then I'll be coming back around. Um, okay, we're going to try. I'm, I'm not looking through the whole thing. I'm just going to kind of, like, power through it at the moment. Because what I could do here is I could either go up around this way and come back down, but then I'm just going to loop again this way, and then I'm kind of stuck. Or I can come down this way, loop up to the top, where do I want to go from there? Um, if I go to the right, I can go down, down, up. I need to end up down here. Because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to, so and, I, and I don't want to touch this one, because I'm going to have to come through here, up, up, back around, back to here, right? So then... What I want to do is I want to come down through here and go through this way. And this one will be flipped because I will have gone through this whole direction. So where I really would like to go... Oh, I need to flip this one once, I think. Because I need to be able to rotate up and go up like that. Down, down. Okay, okay, okay. So I want to go through here. So how do I flip this guy? And get back to him. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. We're going to I'm going to just kind of slowly go through here. I don't know if I'm necessarily doing this right. But I'm kind of wanting to flip these. So now what I need next is I need to get back through here. Once I do that, that'll align these. I can come back up around this way and I can go down down, up 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 around. This guy'll be in the right position, so I'll go back through. Um and then how am I going to get... This will be flipped. So I'll go down, down like that, and then back up. Right? No, but then this guy will be in the wrong position. Hmm. So where do I go from here?
that. And I'm stuck. Alright, how do I reset this? Oh, there's a lever down there. Okay. Start over again. There, there's definitely a prime solution to this. Um, so... The way that I have to get through here is through here, which means I have to make a straight line through here, which means I could come through here. So that'd be the last move here, because this, this move can only be made once. You can only pass through here once. Um, so if that's the case, I think I had, I maybe was on the right track, and then I screwed up by going through here when I could have just gone looped around like that. But I also ended up in a weird direction. Um, clearly you have to start this way, so that's, you know, that's a gimme. Um, then you have two pathways here, right? I think I picked the right pathway the first time. Maybe. Well, look, look, look. Let's watch this. Watch this. You go like this. And then you can make the choice. If you go through this way, right, then you can flip this guy. Oh, and then... The, uh, okay. I'm stuck. Because, yeah, that, it would go that way. So you'd have to... Come on. You'd have to flip through there first once at least. Um, but I could still have done that. I could have gone through this way, then back up and around. But then this guy would be stuck. If I go through and I do one loop and then I come around this way... This guy's in only one time as well. Part of me thinks I need to like not think about it too much. But it might be one that I have to think about. Because if there's only one solution, then you do actually have to... And if it's a really complex one, then you do really have to think about it pretty complexly. So I'm going to go through this way. We're just going to do a couple of flipper roonies. Now I could go back up and around if I wanted to reset some of these, right? But what does that help me with? I don't know. I could also make my way go up and around like that if I wanted to reset some of these, right? Again, I don't know what that would help me with because all I'm trying to do is flip this once so I need both of these guys pointed the other way. So I do need to go up like this, around, and around. Come on. I want to go like this way. Okay. So I had to do that. Oh, now I'm stuck. I need these guys flipped in a different direction. That would have been why I would have gone up and around like that. Because once you have this, then it's dut, 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 right? Across, across. This guy would be flipped, so you have to go like this. Down through here, back like this. So this guy needs to be flipped again. Um, and then you've got your up and down. No, 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 no. Because once you flip this once, then you just go through here. So you would just come back through, go like this, and boom, you're across. So once we have these aligned up, then we just have to get back through there. So what I needed was this guy flipped. So I think doing that loop there actually would have done it for me. If I did the loop, gosh, it's weird because you also need to flip this guy, I think. Or, like, you need a way to get... I, I would need to go, like... If I go up like that, this guy would be pointed up, but this guy would not be. Ooh, boy, this is interesting. This, this is going to take me a bit, and I know, you know, if you already know the solution, Tranquilo, I've talked about this in the past. You know, we, we're not, we are not all seeing the same thing. We, we all react in different ways to puzzles. Um, I liked starting this way, though. This was good. And then which way did we go next? Did I go down through here and then up and around? Let's do that real quick. I, there's something about that that I like. It's a good motion. Okay, so now we're going to do the this way, right? Okay. So now these guys are ready for me to... Oh, and I'm back in the exact position I was just in. I'm going to quickly do one of these, okay? We're going to make the loop. Obviously, I have to go through. Oh, now I'm stuck here. Dang. I didn't have to make the full loop, right? So I could have made my way back, I think. So it's like we go down, down. We want that. 
When I go up this way, I have to go all the way up. Right? Well, I could come back through... Interesting. Hmm. Maybe if I hadn't gone through there. So I'll show you what I'm thinking. As I've been doing it one way, you could also go this way, right? And you achieve the same goal. Okay. <gasps> no, it's back to it. Right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Got it. I was sort of overthinking it, but also sort of not focused enough on it. Um, all right, let's, what does this look like? Does this have a cross? We saw a cross-shaped thing, but I don't think that this is going to go in the cross-shaped thing that we saw. Emerald topped gold fitting. Okay, cool. I was overthinking it a little bit, but also, like, I think the way that I was thinking of it would have also solved it. So there are multiple solutions to that puzzle. Um, some more complex than others, all ending with that final sequence, though. And I think it was figuring out that final sequence is what did it. So I, I will try this on here. I don't think it's going to fit. Yeah, I just knew there was cross shape, cross shape, but they're both positives, and you need a positive to a negative. Okay, let's go around to the left. Let's see everything that's over here. Oh boy, I just got hungry. Hold on a second. Let me uh, do 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 do. Liquid dinner. All right. Um, let's see. Anything with these? I'm always trying to grab the sheets and stuff that give you um, bonuses. Okay, there's some little device over here on the right. What is this? I didn't find metal. Cr I mean that. Like, have you combined things again? Oh, it'd be like if I grab this and then I drag this over here. Okay, so this does not go in there. Okay. And what's all this stuff? Oh, interesting. Okay, we got some arrows. We got some arrows. These don't can't interact with these. Okay, we got different colors. Not sure what the different colors are associated with. And what these do. Oh, there's like nothing. Aha! Okay. No. Can I mess with this at all? Oh, wait. Hold on. So this definitely goes on this side. But do I, ha I don't have anything to mess with this. I don't want you key yet. So it clearly goes in here. And it, it, will, it will only go on the left side, not on the right side. Now green is here. Aha. Okay. Oh, goodness. All right, now this is like locked in. Oh, so what if I do this? No, no, hold on one. You put you there. I can't move the... All right, I'm trying to grab this little thing and try and move it, but it doesn't let me. Can I do... Oh. I could pull this. Aha! Uh -huh. So this was like a rotation. So that pulled those that far. I need to find a little red thing, I think. We'll come back. We'll mess with this in a second. Because once this guy got locked in, once I put the little emerald dude on there, um, it would no longer allow me to rotate this, right? Like, I can't move this anymore. And I can't remove this, as far as I can tell. But I can do that. I can pick different directions, right? So we can, like... What does that do? That lifts that up. Interesting. So I'm feeling like it's going to be a, um, a combination of the two different sides. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't know what I'm trying to unlock here. Because, like, this rotation here, this thing, doing this... Oh, I see what it is. It's, you know, it's one is rotating to the clockwise, kind of counterclockwise, right? Um, if we do this side, what, what happens to which ones? That only does one of them. That's interesting. Okay. I'm just trying to look at the mechanism. Like, I don't think we're supposed to solve this yet. I think we need both. But I'm just trying to, like, figure out what the goal is going to be, ultimately. I think it, what it'll be is it'll be a combination of two moves where it'll be, you know, for example, okay, so that did nothing. So, like, for example, here, when I do this, I think this will be the motion I want, right? It moves both of these out of the way. And then we'll also, on this side, we'll maybe want to do one that pulls both of these down. Um, 
and maybe that'll work. Or it'll be something like this, where once we have both of them together, maybe the reason that the other one isn't rotating is because this is locking it in place, right? So if I were to maybe do this side, what does this do? The reverse maybe, okay. So I think that that's also a possibility. Anyway, we'll come back to this. We're just learning about our surroundings. It's kind of like my favorite part of these puzzles is like the slow figuring out of all this stuff. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh! Interesting. Well, we don't know what coat of arms we want across the top yet. I haven't seen any information about that. Can we look at the door? Can we look at anything? But clearly it's like, okay, you want to rotate through these until you get certain ones in certain positions, and each one of these is going to affect a different one. Yeah, it's outer, inner. So we, oh, and these ones also affect the middle. All right, so let's find some information somewhere that tells us about what we need. Skull, skull, skull. Oh, okay, that was like maybe a keyhole. What's with this? Nothing? Here? No? Oh, what's about, what about this? What you got here? Oh, is this what we already fixed? What we already did? Small metal key, yeah, no, no. That's what we already did, okay. And there's nothing we can do up there. Okay. Yep, yep. The Cesare Borgia. Hmm. I don't know. Let us, oh, you know what? Time-based stuff? No. What about you? Any mechanics-based stuff? No. Not here. I can't click on this. I can't get. I can't go like any closer or anything. Where? What am I missing? That's a cross. Oh, that was a little bit, a little bit much. Oh, since I last played this game, I also have a new mouse, so everything's a little bit trickier. <laughs> Uh, so we have this, this sucker. No. What's the back of this look like? It's just square, right? It's just a square th cross, square metal cross. It's not a keyhole or anything. There aren't very many, like, uh, interactables here. So I'm, I'm just trying to find places where I can actually mess with stuff. Oh, maybe we can mess with that door up there. There's nothing else on the table. Let me read this note again. That tells me anything about that. Oh, look at that. Hello. Here's our next piece. What are you? A small wheel item found. Oh, and then what is over here? Rabbit, rabbit. Two rabbits. Ah, three skulls and two rabbits. Right? Because we saw the other side. So what? Do we, we got a wheel. I don't think... We know where to put that yet. Doesn't this look like I should be doing something with that? Anyway, so we saw the two rabbits. We saw the three skulls. So let's mess with the uh, stuff here. Let's see if we can't make that happen. So we want skulls in here. Yep. And then we mess with this to get it back to a rabbit. Nope, I don't know. Okay, that's one. Oh yeah, totally. Then we do the same thing here. Rotate this until we have a skull in this position. I think I rotated in the wrong direction, but it's fine. We'll eventually get there. Uh, skull, and then... Oh no, I'm doing it in reverse. Dang it. It's rabbits in the middle. It's skull, rabbit, skull. So, where's rabbit? It'll, it'll still operate properly. Rabbit, and then rotate this until we have skull. Okay. You see how that gives us like half? Well, actually, that's only giving us half to rabbit, but this will fix it. So, what are we looking for here? We're looking for uh, rabbit and skull. Now, let's rotate the middle a little bit. And then, what we'll do is we'll get it close to skull. All right, here, now it's like halfway to skull here. 
So that's good. Oh, look at that. Boom. Got it. Look at that. Nailed it. Okay. We have a key. We have a wheel. We've unlocked this. There's still stuff to be done here. I'm going to assume that this is still part of this same puzzle. But I'm looking at the time. And that's a good time for us to end this episode because we're right in that like 20, 30 minute mark. Um, so we just unlocked that door. Let's go ahead and say that that's where we're going to end this episode of The House of Da Vinci. I hope y'all are enjoying still watching this series. Um, you know, it's funny, like these puzzle um, sh uh, videos that I do, they don't do the best on my channel, but I like playing the games, so I'm like, I'm cool with it. So for those of y'all who are watching it, do please support the series by hitting the like button, leaving comments, all that stuff helps just get my videos um, in the algorithm and all that kind of stuff. I, I will continue all the way through this series, obviously, but I know there's like a diehard group of y'all who are watching these. Um, so just be active. And that's what helps these series continue to be able to be made. Um, you know, even if it doesn't get the same views as my other series, as long as it's active, that still helps me out. So if y'all could do that, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to leave comments. Um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ben Price, and I will see y'all next time. 